Food desert is any area that doesn't have easy access to grocery stores. Because there's not a lot of what we would say grocery stores or markets, and sometimes not even, even convenience stores, they don't have fresh produce delivered to the areas. There are several food desert pockets throughout Rochester. What happened with Rochester in a lot of cities in the last century is grocery stores, small markets, small family-owned grocery stores moved out of cities. A lot of times with these big box retailers, they fled more to the suburbs, and a lot of urban areas lost their grocery stores. In Rochester in the, uh, the 30s, 40s, and 50s, there were many, many grocery stores. There was Hearts, there was Star, and there were several grocery stores all over town. But when those stores left, it created these food deserts. And the term that we like to almost use these days is a, a food swamp, uh, because the desert implies that there's nothing. There are corner stores selling food. There, there's not a lack of food, but there's a lack of healthy food. Selling produce in a corner store is a lot less logistically. Um, uh, it just It's not as easy for, for store owners to, to move product. If you've got you know a bunch of lettuce hanging out in a corner store, and it's, it's hard to move that lettuce. It's hard to um, you know get that to the customers in time before it spoils and turns over. So it's just a harder, uh, way to do your business, so that's why a lot of corner stores lean on the, the, the highly processed foods that have you know an expiration date that they keep on their shelves for, for a year or two, uh, and it won't spoil, uh, and it's just a lot more viable for their business, unfortunately, to, to go that route. Um, we love how a lot of the farmers markets in the area now accept SNAP. That's still not prevalent, you know, nationwide, not every farmers market does that, so the fact that farmers markets, and there's at least five right in the Rochester area that do accept um, SNAP or formerly food stamps. And so that's making it a lot easier for families, low-income families, uh, to make healthier choices by accepting that form of payment. Um, and so we have several here in Rochester. We have our curbside market, which is considered a, a mobile farmers market. We have um, the public market, which is actually um, the most successful farmers market in the nation when it comes to SNAP redemption. Uh, it just blows every other food, uh, farmer's market away when it comes to the amount of uh, SNAP tokens that it accepts and redeems at the market. So they do an incredible job there um, selling uh, healthy produce to, to low-income households. Uh, you've got the West Side Farmer's Market, South Wedge, Brighton. Uh, they, both, they all accept SNAP. And so that's the key right there is, is opening up these, these markets in low-income communities because obviously there's no grocery stores readily available to them to access fruits and vegetables. So the key is to set up farm stands, farmer's markets, uh, little retail outlets like the curbside market, uh, just to make sure people have that opportunity.